Hello, in this video we're going to describe how to measure a trailer steel wheel. I have two examples here. One is a 14 by 5.5, 5 on 4.5 bolt pattern steel wheel. This other one is a 16 by 6, 6 lug on 5.5 steel wheel. And the way to measure to know what size it is on the diameter of the wheel, in other words what size tire will fit on this wheel, is you'll want to measure from the inside to the inside where the bead seats and it would show 16 inches. In other words that's the bead seat to the bead seat. Not You do not want to measure overall width from edge to edge. Okay and to measure the width of the wheel again you will not want to measure do not measure overall because it'll show seven which is incorrect you'll measure bead seat to bead seat again which is six inches and then on the bolt pattern there are six lugs so when there's an even amount of lugs you'll just measure from the center of one lug directly across to the center of the other lug in this case if we put a ruler on it it would measure five and a half inches so it's six lugs on five and a half inches the next measurement you would want to do is the pilot diameter which is where the hub from the trailer would stick through. In this case it would measure four and one-eighth inches. And the reason that is critical because on some trailers that would use a that would have a hub with lug holes that a lug bolt would screw into you would need to have a hub centric wheel. In other words this pilot diameter would have to be the same size as the hub on the trailer. So when you slide it on there, you can turn it, line the holes up, put the lug bolts in. On most other trailers, they would use a lug-centric wheel, which means it'll have wheel studs coming out of the hub. You set the wheel up on there, screw it down with the lug nut. As long as this pilot diameter is bigger than the hub that's on there, it's centering off the lugs. So it's no problem. Uh, a ne next measurement I want to do is the back spacing. Now the back spacing would be measuring from the back of the wheel to the mounting surface that goes onto the hub. The easiest way to do that is if you lay a straight edge across the wheel and then just measure down to the top of that mounting surface. In this case it's about three and three quarters inches. So that is the back spacing. <coughs> I was going to, I want to also show you how to measure a wheel that would be an odd amount of lugs, like in this case five lugs. The way you would measure it is you would measure from the center of this one wheel all the way to the edge of the wheel or the hole across from it. So in this case, if you measure from the center all the way across to the edge of the wheel, it's four and a half inches. So this bolt pattern would be five on four and a half. Uh, another thing to that's critical on trailer wheels. Most trailer wheels will have a zero offset. Offset means where this mounting surface is in relation to the width of the wheel. A trailer will be zero, which means zero is right at the center of the wheel. And the reason they do that is the weight of the trailer, they want it to be evenly distributed onto the wheel. Same amount in front, same in back. On a lot of car wheels, this offset would change if they move it this way to the outside of the vehicle that's a positive offset if that mounting surface back here would move to the inside of the vehicle makes the wheel and tire come out that would be a negative offset it's very hard to measure the offset because they when they do that at the factory they use precise measurement tools to be able to do that you can't really do that on your own but that'll give you an idea as most trailer wheels are a zero offset and each wheel will also have a load carrying capacity. Most of the time, sometimes it might be stamped on the back of the wheel. On a lot of the steel wheels, there's a tag on here. And it would say, it gives you the size of the wheel, 16 by 6. And then that number says 3,050 pounds. That means this wheel is tested at 3,050 pounds at 90 PSI. So you just want to make sure whatever tire you put on there does not go over that capacity. On this 14 inch wheel, if we look at the tag, it would say 14 by 5.5, 1,870 pounds, and that is at 50 psi. 
So same way you don't want to put a tire on a wheel that would be over those capacities. And that'll do it for measuring a trailer wheel.